Hi, my name is Wen Da Zhao from University of Toronto. Today, I would like to present the work Optimal Geometry for Ultra Wideband Localization using Bayesian Optimization. This work, this work was done by me and my colleague Mario under the supervision of Pro uh, Professor Angela Schuwig. As the capabilities of robots and their control systems improve, applications involving the use of robotic swarms in semi-structured environments have become increasingly valuable. Automation of factories, warehouse management, inspection, and monitoring tasks greatly increase the efficiency and reduce the risks for human operators. Accurate indoor localization is a crucial enabling technology for all these applications. Without global satellite-based localization, one popular way for indoor navigation is using visual methods like visual inertial odometry or visual slam. However, these methods require constant lighting conditions and have limitations in changing environments. Therefore, it is essential to develop an absolute indoor positioning system for long-term autonomy. In the literature, there exists many techniques for indoor localization. RFID and Apertype provide accurate measurements, but they suffer from range distance and signal continuity. Compared with uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, Ultra Wi-Fi has been shown to provide accurate and robust measurements due to its large signal bandwidth. Thanks for that, Ultra Weapon becomes the most promising technology for absolute indoor localization and has many successful applications in autonomous robotics. A typical Ultra Weapon localization system is shown in the picture with the fixed Ultra Weapon modules in the space, we call them anchors, and Ultra Weapon modules mounted on the target robot, we call them tags. Two way ranging and time difference of arrival also called TDOA, are two common localization approaches for ultra weapon signals. In two-way ranging system, ultra weapon tag connects to anchors and achieves the ranging measurement through two-way communication. In TDOA, however, the tags receive ultra weapon signals sent from anchors passively and compute the distance difference between two anchors as measurements. Since there are no active communications, TDOA is better scalable for robotic swarms. Compared with the traditional centralized TDOA methods involving a single reference anchor, decentralized TDOA systems compute the TDOA measurements between certain anchor pairs and consequently does not suffer from communication constraints and single anchor failure. In this work, we focus on decentralized TDOA systems. In general, robotic systems involving control algorithms, motion planning, and state estimation. In ultra weapon based localization system, robots fuse the ultra weapon measurements coming from the pre-installed anchors. Considering the design of an ultra weapon localization system, robots should be able to localize themselves inside a certain region of interest. A fundamental problem for such a, a localization system would be where to place the anchors to provide good localization performance in the predefined region. Therefore, the objective of this work is to design an optimal ultra weapon anchor geometry for a region of interest. In the existing literature, the design of ultra weapon geometry for both two way range and TDOA is mainly studied for a single point in 2D scenario. Based on the Camaro lower bound CRLB analysis, the optimal geometry problem for a single point is well studied and the famous uh, uniform angular error rule is achieved, achieved as an analytical result. In satellite-based navigation, researchers often bridge the localization accuracy and measurement accuracy through dilution of precision and study the sensitivity of the localization system with respect to the sensor placement. In the general optimal sensor placement field, Researchers also leverage Gaussian process to approximate the spatial phenomena of sensor performance to avoid strong geometric assumptions and select sensor placement based on this approximation. CIRB and dilution of precision are based on physical measurement models and approaches based on Gaussian process are based on the approximated model learned from data. 
In this work, we aim to find the optimal ultra-weapon geometry for a predefined region of interest. However, the mathematical derivation becomes increasingly complex as extending current theory of a single point to a region and from 2D to 3D. Therefore, we only consider a 2D optimal geometry problem for decentralized TDOA systems as a preliminary effort. The contribution of this work involving formulating this novel geometry problem as an optimization problem, solving it through the uh, proposed Bayesian optimization-based algorithm, and validating the results in simulation and experiments. Now, let's have a look at the problem statement in mass. The anchor and tag positions are in 2D, and we stacked the M anchor positions into a vector A, which is the decision variable in the optimization problem. The region of interest is indicated as a 2D region psi, and anchors are assumed to be installed on the boundary of the space. We define a set B to contain all the possible anchor configuration so that A is in B. Since the analyze assumes noisy ultra-weapon measurements, for an unbiased estimation p hat, the estimation variance reflects the quality of the localization performance at the position p. An A-optimal performance metric can be defined as the square root of the sum of various x and y. We indicate the upper bound of this performance metric of region psi as the largest localization variance of point p in psi. Hence, the optimal geometry corresponds to the anchor configuration A star leading to the minimum performance metric upper bound. Prior to solve this optimization problem directly, we would like to leverage some useful analytical results from the classical Camaro lower bound CRB analysis. CRB is the theoretical lower bound of the variance of an unbiased estimate. Therefore, it is uh, the most commonly used benchmark for unbiased estimators. In the classical CRB analysis, with respect to a single point P, we try to minimize the trace of the inverse of feature information metric scheme, which is the same as maximizing the trace of fame. The trace of fame can be expressed as a function of angle of arrival, which is visualized in the right figure. The angle of arrival between tag P and anchor A1 and A2 are indicated as theta 1P and theta 2P. The angle difference between these two anchor pair is uh, theta 2P minus theta 1P. Based on the derivation, the trace of fame increases as the cosine value of each angle, angle difference decreases. Therefore, for a single point, the optimal geometry should satisfy that the angle difference of each anchor pair equals to positive or negative pi. However, this analytical result cannot be extended to a region directly since it is not feasible for all points inside a region to satisfy the anchor rule simultaneously. Yet, we notice that for each anchor pair with cosine theta ip minus theta jp larger than zero, there always exists a better configuration with a negative cosine value, leading to a larger trace of fame. Therefore, we define a soft angle constraint, set A, to encourage the anchor configuration to have larger trace of fame. Keep this prior knowledge in mind, we now derive the performance metric through the concept of dilution of precision. Dilution of precision, DOP, bridges the localization accuracy and measurement accuracy. As we can see on the figure, the measurement accuracy indicates the variance of the measurements. For the two selected orange points, the localization accuracy are indicated as the shaded area with red boundaries. With the same measurement accuracy, TDOA localization system provides quite different localization accuracies in the two different points, which is the intuition behind the DOP concept. Let's consider a position estimate P hat. The following relationship between measurement error and estimation error can be obtained through first order linearization. For an unbiased estimate, the covariance matrix can be expressed as follows, where H plus indicates the pseudo inverse of H matrix. Consequently, the performance matrix can be expressed as 
uh, maximum square root of the trace of the estimation covariance. To incorporate the prior knowledge from Camaro lower bound analysis, we introduce a penalty term PA for the anchor pairs do not satisfy the soft angle constraints. Hence, the optimal ultra wide anchor geometry corresponds to the geometry minimize the performance metric FA equals to MA plus PA. For general optimal geometry problem with an irregular shifted region of interest, the objective function is highly nonlinear and complicated. Therefore, we apply Bayesian optimization to solve this problem, which finds the optimal zero sampling. At the nth iteration, the performance metric FAN can be computed with the current anchor geometry and sent to the Bayesian optimization. The relationship between the anchor geometry AN and the performance metric FAN is modeled as a Gaussian process with the sampled points. And the next sample point geometry uh, AN plus one is proposed by the expected improvement acquisition function. And the Gaussian process is updated by the new sampled anchor geometry. The algorithm iterates until converge. In a simulation, we first tested the localization performance with two pairs of anchors. The baseline placement is selected at the corner of the room. Different anchor pairs are indicated with different colors. Two regions of interest are tested, and the origin point is the point with the worst localization performance. The light color in the heat map indicates better localization performance, and as we can see, both regions of interest have better localization performance under the optimal anchor geometry. We also tested our algorithm with six and 10 anchors in simulation. The localization system provides better performance as more anchors are available, but the optimization problem requires more iterations to converge. The optimal geometry results with four anchors are validated in experiments. To test the estimation performance in 2D, we fixed the four anchors on tripods, collected the ultra wide plane TDOA measurements at 20 sample points at the same height inside the region of interest, and apply a multi blood duration estimator for localization. The comparison of the worst and average estimation performance between baseline and optimal geometry is summarized into box plots. With the optimal anchor geometry, the largest empirical localization invariance in both regions are reduced. For the entire region, the reduction of the average localization variance in both regions are around 40%. In summary, we propose a Bayesian optimization based algorithm to find the optimal anchor geometry of a TDOA based ultra wide localization system with respect to a predefined region. We demonstrate that the localization performance inside a predefined region can be improved by as much as 40% through optimizing anchor geometry. This result also provides the localization performance limits of a region prior to physically installing the anchors, thus saving time and effort. Yet, this work is still a preliminary work, and we assume the TDOA measurements to be unbiased. In our most recent work, we corrected the systematical biases of arch weapon measurements. Also, we are extending the optimal geometry algorithm into 3D cluttered environments, considering obstacles, which would be the foundation for um, an ultra wide and indoor localization system. Thank you for listening. For more interesting research works and cool robotics projects, please visit our lab website and follow us on the social media sites.